Hello and welcome everyone. Let us see how to solve a system of linear equation by row reduction method or Gauss-Jordan row reduction method. There are different methods to solve a system of linear equation using matrices. Mat matrices. Uh, there is another method which is Kramer's rule, so we can see that one by the next video. But for the time being, we will see how to apply row reduction method to solve a system of linear equation. Here are the basic rules to apply a system of um, row reduction method. Those methods, the first one, it says you can interchange two rows. You can change the place of first row with the second, or first with the third, or second with the uh, third one. You can exchange any two rows the place. And the second one, uh, you can multiply or divide any of the row by a constant. You can multiply or divide any of the row by a constant number. And the last one, after multiplying any row by a constant, you can add on the other row. So this is the three possible cases that we can uh, use. So using this uh, rule, let us see how to apply and this method and how to solve the given system of linear equation. Uh, our system of linear equation, as you see, it is 2x minus uh, 4y plus 6z is equal to negative 8, and 6x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 0, and 2x plus 3y minus 5z equal to 1. Okay, so the first step, uh, we need to take out the argument matrix, argument coefficient matrix, which is 2, negative 4, 6, and negative 8. That is the first row. And the second one, 6, 2, negative 2, and 0. And the third one, it's going to be 2, 3, and negative 5, then 1. This will be the argument, uh, the argument matrix. OK, so once we have the argument coefficient matrix, uh, the objective is the coefficient matrix, as you see, uh, to change into identity matrix as much as possible. The identity matrix of 3 by 3 matrix, you know, it is 1, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So the first entry has to be 1 here. The 2 uh, has to be changed into 1. And below, there must this 2 has to be 0. So to do that, uh, we can divide the first row the whole by 2 because it's a number to the first entry here. So to div if you divide by 2, it it's going to be 1. So let us do that. Even the second row, as you see, all of them are even number. We can divide by 2 all of them. Uh, to simplify. Okay, so that's uh, R1 divided by 2 and R2 also divided by 2. R1 divided by 2 will go to R1 and R2 divided by 2 will go to R2. We are trying to simplify so that let us see because the name it's, uh, itself it says reducing. So it's going to be the first row will be 1, negative 2, 3 and negative 4 and the second row will be changed into 3 1, negative 1, and the third row, and at last, it's going to be 0, no change. And the last row, it's going to be as it is, 2, 3, and negative 5, and which is 1 here. Okay. Now, next, uh, we have to make the two uh, entries here. This one, 0, and here it is also. Let's make it 0. To make 0, we can multiply the first uh, row by negative 3 and add on row 2. And to make the last row 0, the first entry here, to make 0, we can multiply uh, the first row by negative 2, then add on it. OK, let us do it. So it's going to be negative 3 times r1 plus r2 will be r2. And again, negative 2 times r1 plus r3 uh, will go to r3. So let us see uh, the outcome here now. Okay, so as you see here now, uh, first row, no change, nothing will be changed in the first row, but the second row, when you multiply by negative uh, 3, the first row by negative 1 times negative 3 will be negative 3, but plus 3 will be 0, and negative 3 times negative 2 will be 6 plus 1, which is 7, and negative 3 times 3 will be negative 9, plus negative 1 will be negative 10, and negative uh, 3 times negative 4 is 12, 12 plus 0 will be 12, that is the second row, that is our new row. And the last row will multiply the first row by negative 2 and add it. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0, as you see. And negative 2 times negative 2 will be 4 plus 3, 7. And negative uh, 2 times 3, negative 6 plus negative 5 will be negative 11. 
Again, negative 2 times negative 4, which is 8 plus 1, 9, as you see. So look, now the 2 in 3 becomes 0. Now let's try to make this 0, because as I said before, the last uh, row has to be 0, 0, 1. To do that, uh, we can make the 7, uh, 0. How? We can add uh, the second row, okay, multiplying by negative 1 and add on it. So we can do here uh, negative uh, R2 plus R3. Uh, we can change it into we can change it into uh, R3, negative R2 plus R3. Okay, let us see the outcome now. Therefore, uh, as we said uh, before, uh, the first row, nothing will be changed. 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4 comes as it is. The second row also as it is, 0, 7, negative 10, 12, it comes. But the third row, there is a change. That's going to be new row. What happened? And the second row is negated and add on the third row. So negative 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 will be 0. And negative 7 plus 7 will be 0, the last row. And negative of negative 10 will be positive 10. So positive 10 plus negative 11 will be negative 1. And negative 12 uh, plus 9 will be negative 3. At this point, uh, we can uh, construct the new uh, system of linear equation. At this point, we can stop and we can state the equation. That is uh, x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to negative 4, first equation. The second equation, x is already re removed, you see? It is 0, the first entity. So what left? 7y uh, minus 10z uh, is equal to 12. And the last one, negative z is equal to negative 3. Negative z is equal to negative 3 left. So we have got already the value of z. Okay, let us see how to solve it. Okay, so uh, let us bring our previous matrix here. That is x minus 2y plus 3z uh, is equal to negative 4. That is the first one. And the second one, it is 7y uh, minus 10z uh, is equal to 12. And the last one, negative z uh, is equal to negative 3. So we can get the z value here. We can multiply both sides by negative 3, so the z value will be 3. Done. We have got the z value. And then we can substitute this one in the second equation. So it will be 7y. Uh, the middle one here is minus 7y minus 10 times in place of z, we can substitute 3 is equal to 2, 12. Uh, this is 12. And then 7y minus 30 is equal to 12. We can shift the 30 to the other side. So 7y is equal to 42 to be added. Then divide both sides by 7. So the value of y will be 6. Done. And finally, we can take the first equation, x minus 2 times. In place of y, we can substitute 6 because we, are, we already got it. And plus 3 times. Uh, 3 z, uh, the z is already 3, is equal to negative 4. So x minus 12 plus 9 is equal to negative 4. That means x uh, minus 3 uh, is equal to negative 4. So the x value will be just ne uh, negative 1 because the negative 3 goes and added. So this is the way how to solve system of linear equation uh, by applying uh, row reduction method. Remember, at this point, uh, let me try to show you something. I will try to tell you one thing here. At this point, uh, OK. Just to be clear, if the last row here, everything, if it becomes zero, we can say the system of linear equation has uh, many solution. But if all the coefficients are zero, and but the last one is not zero, means the system of linear equation may not have any solution. So at this point, uh, so we can put uh, the solution set uh, formally. Our solution set will be, we can write it, uh, first brace, then we can open bracket. The first order is the x, which is negative 1, and the second order is 6, and the last one will be 3. So this is the solution set of the system of linear equation, what's given to us. So we applied uh, row reduction or uh, Gauss-Jordan row reduction method. So please uh, subscribe and follow me for more videos in the next video. We'll see how to solve system of linear equation by Kramer's rule. Thank you for uh, watching.